I wanted to tell you, like, you saved one of my friend's life with your video. Well, wait a minute. Hold on. I did what? Yeah. She had inboxed me. And she was like, um, that guy, Brian, that he always tags you in his post, tell him that he saved my life. Because she was thinking about committing suicide because she lost her husband. Wow. The video that I put up on yesterday, mm -hmm. uh, which was the nine-month anniversary of Mila passing away. Mm -hmm. Wow. Eight. Because she couldn't deal with the the overwhelming and the impact of mourning. Yeah, it's not easy. It is not. It is not easy. Tell your friend that I said. Tell your friend to inbox me. That mm -hmm. way I'm available any time that she needs me, any time that she needs to talk, I will be there. I may not see the message right off the bat, but I will try my best to respond as quickly as I can. Mm -hmm. Wow. That means a lot because I remember on last year when uh, – when Jamila and I used to do a radio show here, mm -hmm. we were sitting here, and one of the young ladies who was following us on Facebook called in and told us that she was on the verge of taking pills, mm -hmm. she, like literally about to put them in her mouth. Like, well, thinking about putting them in her mouth, and she was on Facebook, and our, and our video popped up, and she seen the way we were interacting with everyone, and she said um, that we saved her life. Because mm -hmm. she was going through, she's gone through cancer. She's lost her father mm. and things like that. She lives up in the Jersey area, but she said that um, that we that we saved her life, and that means a lot. That means a lot to me because I know what it's like to have like you know your life saved. I always say staff sergeant, retired staff sergeant um, Miguel Sierra saved my life from you know from disaster, and so that means a lot. Wow, wow, I don't even know how to respond to that, and it, it's. So, on a side note, we are our own worst critics. I don't know, that that's the one thing that human beings have a problem with. We are our own worst critics. Because somebody can give you a compliment, and as soon as they compliment you, you always look at the, you, you they compliment the good, and you, are, you automatically focus on the negative because you don't know how to take a compliment. That's why I tell people, leave your butts at home. And they be like, what does that mean? I was like, if somebody says you look good, don't say, yeah, but. I could do this. Uh, yeah, but I should have wore this. Yeah, but I don't have abs. Yeah, but I didn't do my hair today. Don't say that. They're not, they didn't say walk up to you and say, you look terrible today. They walked up and said, you look good. Hey, you're beautiful. You're attractive. You're smart. You're this. You're that. And the first thing that we want to do is throw our butts in the way. Hey, but, you know, if I would have done such and such and such, I could have done this or but and so that's why I always say we're our own worst critics. And so when you tell me something like that, I I know this because I live it myself. Because you want to be you want to be uh, humble, humble, and you want to show humility. But by the same token, you know it's like you have to be able to receive whatever that is that that person's giving to you. So like when you said that to me, I automatically want to I automatically default it to my faults. I defaulted to the faults that I have mm -hmm. within myself. And so you're saying, your friend said that I did a good thing, and I'm thinking about, yeah, but what about the bad things I've done? And then, and you know, I don't know how many believers that we have listening. I know it's a sports show, but this is my sports show, so I get to do whatever format that I would like to do. And if, hey, I love you all, but if I lose you, it's okay for telling the truth and how I feel. Uh, I automatically want to default to my faults so I could tear down my compliment. Mm. And then it make me feel like, okay, because sometimes you don't want to make your, you don't, sometimes we as human beings do not want to m make ourselves more than what we are when we really are more than what we are. Mm -hmm. You know, you're like, well, I don't want to seem like I'm conceited. And I'm like, that's why I always be like, oh, I, I say it all the time. I'm like, I don't care. I look good. I don't care who I'm talking to. I don't care if Holly Berry was talking to me. I'd be like, we two good, two good looking women. I mean, two good looking people <laughs> talking to each other. I said women, didn't I? <laughs>